Good morning, good morning, good morning, learners. Good morning. Yes, yes, it is that time of the day again. It is 8 a.m., which means that it is time for English grade 8 home language. Thank you, thank you for joining us. Can you take the register for today? I hope everyone slept well. I hope everyone is awake, you are warm, and you are good and everything. It is a Wednesday, which feels like a weekend during the week. Yes, let us take the register. Let us see who is there with us today. Let's see who is present. Let's see who is present. Can you text hi in the chat so I can acknowledge you, so I can recognize that you are part of the lesson today. Okay, thank you, thank you, thank you for joining us today. Thank you, Lisedi, Amokhelang, Helen, Teza, Tyrese. Thank you, thank you. I know everyone else is still on their way. They're still having early breakfast, a cup of coffee they do not want to spill on their laptops, which is understandable. Thank you so much for joining us today. We will be doing abbreviations. So yes, it will be a revision. Remember what I said in the previous lesson that next week, there will be an assessment week where you will be given assessment tasks to test you on everything that which we have covered up until now. So I would like to ask again that if there is something that we should not understand, or if there is a topic that you still need clarification on, please text me on the chat, tell me what that topic is, and I promise you that I will prepare a lesson based on it so that we can clarify where you do not understand, okay? So yes, please help me to help you. Tell me which topics, which concepts that which you are finding hard to understand and we will deal with them in the next few lessons before the assessment week comes, okay? Thank you so much, thank you. Let's go on with the lesson for today. Yes, like I said, we will be dealing with abbreviations as well as the types of abbreviations, okay? So this will give you a clue that during the assessment week, you will get some questions on abbreviations, okay? Yes, and everything else that which we have covered so far. Remember, if you have questions or you need clarification on something, please raise your hand up and I'll give you a chance to speak. So this is what today's lesson will be about. Yes. So it will be about abbreviations, okay? So we start with the overview. What are abbreviations? Types of abbreviations. And then you are going to have an activity at the end of the lesson. Okay, so sometimes some words are better communicated when they are shortened, okay? I realize right now that this can really tempt you to some extent. So by this, what I mean is that I am I am not talking about your shorthand messages, okay? I'm, I'm speaking about abbreviations here, that sometimes some words are better communicated when they are shortened, okay? So you will see that with many organizations, it is true. Um, I think it was yesterday, I read the statement from the Department of Education and I realized there that, you know, they've used abbreviations there, you know, DBE, CEM, um, MICT, things like that, okay? So, you, so I realized that it was really a good thing for them to do, to use those abbreviations because sometimes you really get agitated to read those long, to read those long words, so then it is, good for them to abbreviate them, okay? Can you imagine if you are reading an article from the Department of Education and instead of them saying DBE for Department of Basic Education, they just say Department of Basic Education everywhere. I mean, that can really agitate you and it can really get frustrating and irritating. And that is when sometimes it is good, it is better to use abbreviations, okay? Remember, 
at this point, we still dis discourage the use of colloquial language or slang abila. Okay, and I will explain to you why we do that. Okay, let's continue the lesson. All right, here is a quote. I think this person is a comedian, Stephen Colbert. Okay, so Stephen Colbert, let me quote him. He says, I quote, BRB TTYL. Okay, wow, wow. I have saved a ton of time with those acronyms. So that is a quote by Stephen Colbert. Okay, so I know that you learners, my learners are millennials. You know, you know all these things. So, can someone help us? What is BRB? And what is TTYL? What do they stand for? Can you please raise your hand or type for us in the chat what they stand for? Okay, so we have Lissedi. Say that BRB stands for be right back okay what does TTYL stand for some someone help us Okay, um, Helene thinks it means that 10 years later. Um, okay, what does, what does someone else think? Because, okay, myself, when I read this quote, when I read this quote, um, given, given the context of the whole quote, I think, I think this TTYL, In that case, then it will mean this. It will mean that this. It will mean, okay. If we if if we read it in full, it will be, be right back. Talk to you later. Okay. Wow. I saved a ton of time with those acronyms. Okay. So yes, I I, I strongly believe that TTYL stands for talk to you later because you just said be right back. Okay. If you said be right back, and then you say talk to you later, it shows that you will you will you will be back later on. Okay, so be right back, talk to you later, okay? Wow, I saved a ton of time with those acronyms. So this quote, it really also tries to emphasize what I wanted to say, that that is the reason why we discourage using these shorthand um, messages. Why? Because you see, um, I think it means talk to you later. And then and then healing things it means the 10 years later okay so you realize that what it means for me it means different to helene so this means that this one quote although it is intended to mean just one thing but to me and helene here it means different things okay so me and him we have different interpretations which are opposite of each other about one same thing okay so this is the reason why we discourage we discourage um, slang abbreviations like the ones that which you use in social media. We discourage you using them when you write your your text, your transactional text in English. Okay, let's continue. So an abbreviation, like I've already said, it is a shortened form of a word or a phrase, okay? And we should be careful about how those words or phrases are being shortened, okay? For, okay, let's, let's do this example. I will, I will text it in the chat. Let us say you want, let us say you are, you are let, okay, let us say maybe you are writing a diary entry, and then in your diary entry you are you are 
talking about you having a conversation with someone who asked you how you are and you said i'm good okay so right now in the chat i just I just type i am good okay so that is how you write i am good you can all see it in the chat that is how we write i am good okay 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 maybe let me do this so i just typed i am good in the chat now you want to shorten it okay because here we say an abbreviation is a shortened form of a word or a phrase okay so you when you shorten it you write like this i've seen it even as we used to do it before there was before there was um whatsapp we used to chat on this platform they called mix it i don't know if it still exists but we used to chat there and we will write i'm good like this i just typed it in the chat you will write m and then write gd and say i'm good okay so you realize that if we are if if it is a test or an exam where you write a diary entry and you write i'm good like that like you like you shorten it like like the way i have in in the chat then you will lose marks for that okay it it doesn't make sense i mean what is that what i can read i can read the letter m and small letters gd you know so yes if you write like that please keep it only to your social media and do not use it in your transactional text because you will lose marks okay you will lose marks and that will not be good for you okay yes so just write it just write it correctly you know you can say i am good like as i have written it before there you write it in full i space a m space g o o d full stop i am good that is how you write it and that is how you should be writing it and and that is why we dis we discourage you to use the abbreviations that which you came up with yourselves okay you know we know there are some people who use their own texting styles okay it is good it's okay to you to have your own sense of creativity your own sense of texting style on your social media but we discourage you to use those in your writings okay okay remember that in your writings please keep it formal please keep it formal you, you really need to know how to write formally okay so that you can be understood because everyone everyone around the world we are taught formal english okay therefore therefore if you write in formal english and it happens that you are writing for someone in the uk in the united states of america or wherever then you will be understood okay all right types of abbreviations we have an acronym so what is an acronym an acronym is an abbreviation that uses first letters or some parts of a name okay all right uh, so I, again we can say that an acronym is a word that is formed from the first letters of other words i think that is straightforward enough let us give an example here we have hiv which is an acronym for human immunodeficiency virus so that h is for human the i is for immunodeficiency the v is for virus okay another example this you will meet when you when you will okay I don't know if you've made it so far in natural science, but if you do math and science subjects, you will meet it in your life science class. Okay, we have DNA, which stands for deoxyribonucleic acid. Okay, so that's DNA, D for deoxyribo, N for nucleic, A for acid. Okay, so I look at the at the chat and I see other examples. Nkanka and Natalie are giving an example. They say FNB which stands for First National Bank, yes. Let's say this says AIDS, what does AIDS stand for? Remember, for every acronym you give, you should really tell us what it stands for, okay? So what does AIDS stand for? Not that I don't know, I'm asking to 
test you. <laughs> so what does it stand for? Remember, for every acronym or for every abbreviation you give, it will be a good thing for you to, to also mention what it stands for, okay? Because if you are writing an article, let's say you are writing an article about diseases, and then you write AIDS, then it, then it is best for you, after you write AIDS, write in brackets what AIDS stands for. You realize that with medical papers and everything, they love to do that, that if they write an abbreviation, they will also put in brackets what the abbreviation stands for, okay? So that, because they assume that not everyone will know, okay? I may know what AIDS stands for. You may know, okay, you may know AIDS, that AIDS is, when HIV develops and it becomes AIDS, okay? Yes, but what does AIDS stand for? What does the acronym AIDS stand for? Okay, so that is why we will need to put in brackets what it stands for. So let's say I'm still waiting for what it stands for. I see in the chat in Kang, okay, Lisen. Lisen says HOD, which stands for Head of Department. Thank you so much, Lisen, that's correct. And in Kanka says CPT, which stands for Cash paying journals, yes, that's something that we should see in your EMS classes. Oh, oh sorry, oh, in can classes CPJ, which stands for cash paying journals. Thank you so much, thank you so much, Nkanka, thank you. So, okay, it seems like Lesedis still has not answered us. Oh, there is the answer. So Lesedis says, A stands for acquired immune Deficiency syndrome. Yes, that is correct. Thank you so much, Lisedi. Thank you. So those are examples of acronyms, right? So you realize that an acronym, it is a word that is formed from the first letters of other words. So those first letters, we put them all together. We, we write them in capital letters and they become our acronyms. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. The second type So this is a group of this is when a group of letters where each letter is pronounced separately it is used as an abbreviation for a name or an expression Okay there are a couple of examples there for example the initialism or the alphabetism for television is TV remember we do not say TV okay we do not say tv. This is not tv. It is not tv. This is tv. Why? Remember from the definition of initialism, it is the group of letters where each letter is pronounced separately. So if we pronounce this letter separately, what is it? It is t. If we pronounce this letter separately, what it is? It is a v. Therefore, it's tv, which it is an initialism for television. Are we all together? Remember, if you need clarification on something, you can text your question in the chat. Or you can raise your hand and I'll give you a chance to speak. Okay, another example. Another example, we have compact disc. So the initialism for a compact disc is A, C, D, okay? It's C, D. Remember, it's not KD. We can't say it's KD. Why? Because every group of letters, okay, in an initialism, each letter is pronounced separately. So this letter is the letter C. So this is C. This is D. disk becomes CD, okay? And then another example, uh, is sometimes you can use your initials instead of your full name. So it, it, this is my name here. My name is Jackie Moying. So if, uh, so if I use initialism, I'm going to say JM, okay? So this is not Jim, it's not Jim is jm okay so you again remember with initialism each letter is pronounced separately so this is j is pronounced separately this is m is also pronounced 
separately. Okay, okay. Let me go to the chat and see if you have more examples, comments, or questions. Okay, here I have, okay. They are saying DR is close to doctor, okay. Doctor, it is an abbreviation, yes. But it is not an initialism, why? Remember, with an initialism, we have a group letters where each letter is pronounced separately. So in doctor, we, 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 say, we say doctor, okay? We do not say DR, okay? We, we say, okay, let's see. If, if, if we have Dr. Jones, we do not say DR Jones. No, if we say DR Jones, it sounds like um, the initials of Dr. Jones, okay? So we just say Dr. Jones. So DR is not, DR, it is an abbreviation, but it is not an initialism, okay? It is not an initialism. And then, okay, MR, which is Mr. Mr. is also an abbreviation, but it is not, it is not an initialism. Why? Because Mr. is MR, is capital letter M and the small letter R, okay? And we've seen in my examples here that with initialism, every letter is pronounced separately and yes, every letter is pronounced separately and they're written in capital letters, okay? So Mr. is an abbreviation, but it is not an initialism. Okay, then we have a VR, which means virtual reality. Yes, that is true, that is correct, because virtual reality, we take the, we take the V from virtual and the R from reality to get VR, and you realize that we pronounce each letter separately, VR. So that is an example of an initialism. Then we have DVD. Remember, I said with every with every example that we should give, tell us what it means. Okay, do not assume that we know. Just tell us what it means. Then we have PC, which is personal computer. Yes, PC. Then we have DVD, which is digital versatile disc. Thank you so much. So thank you for your examples. Thank you for your comments. Thank you. I I'm I'm really glad. I'm really happy that we all understand to this far. Then we have the third type, which is a clipped abbreviation. So with a clipped abbreviation, that is when we use the middle or the end of a word. Okay, so here an example there. For telephone, we use the end of that word. The end of the word telephone is phone. I, there it is, I underlined it in blue. So it is a phone. So a phone, it is a clipped abbreviation. Then we have refrigerator. There I've underlined the clipped abbreviation, which is fridge, okay? So is there any other? clipped abbreviation example you can think of? Is there any other example for a clipped abbreviation that which you can think of? Remember, a clipped abbreviation, it is when we use the middle or the end of a word. Someone, anyone? Okay, seems like there are no more examples for clipped. Any example for clipped? Okay, let us see. Remember, remember, we said that with, with clipped, we use the middle or the end of a word. Okay, I go to the chat, I see a couple of examples. Okay, they say avo for avocado. Okay, this is not, okay, this is another type of abbreviation we are coming to, but it is not a clipped. Why? Remember, with clipped, that is when we use the middle or the end of a word. So with the avocado, so with the avocado, 
So with the avocado example, you will realize that avo is not the maker and it is not the end of the word avocado. So that means that for avo, for avo, for avocado is not an example of a clip abbreviation. It's another type which we are coming to, but it is not clip. Okay. Okay, we are, do you do, do you see that with clipped abbreviation, only the maker or the end of a word, clipped, okay? So clipped, it is the maker or the end. Okay, so any example with that? Okay, seems like, <laughs> seems like we do not have examples for that. Okay, in that case, I, okay, oh, I am thinking of one example right now. Let me write it in the chat. Let us say scoreboard, okay? Scoreboard, can we, sometimes they do not say the scoreboard, they can say is the board, okay? So, yeah, you know, I mean, with sports, where they keep the scores is the scoreboard, but sometimes they can say, let's just look at the board well they are referring to the scoreboard so that could be an example of a clipped abbreviation because remember with scoreboard we use board which is which is towards the end of the word okay and then we have another example from lisa lisa says is, instead of bedroom we can say room okay you can say um yes your mother or your father or whoever, when they are scolding you, they can say, go, go back to your room, you know, and when they say that they will be implying your bedroom. Thank you so much, Lisen. Yes, that is a good example for clipped abbreviations. So remember that clipped abbreviations are those where we use the maker, are those words where, you, where we use the maker or the end of a word. Okay, let's move on. Aha. There is truncation. Truncation, that is when we use only the first part of the word. Okay. This is the abbreviation where you use only the first part of the word. Let me start with your examples in the chat. We have Amokhelang saying avo for avocado. That is correct. You realize that with truncation, you only use the first part of the word. Okay. So that's correct, Amokhelang. We have Nkanka saying kept C A P T. For captain, yes, that is correct. That is correct because you're only using the first part of your word. Then we have tether saying exam, which saying exam is a truncation for examination. Yes, that is true because exam appears as the first part of the word examination. Thank you. Then we have Natalie saying tab for tablet. Yes, that is true because you can see that tab it is the first part of the word tablet. Yes, we have Inkanka saying man, which is a truncation abbreviation for Monday. Then we have Lesiri saying aug, A-U-G, which is the truncation abbreviation for the month August. Yes. So here are the other examples that which I gave. Asan for Sunday. Mm -hmm. February is a truncation abbreviation for February. Feb is the truncation abbreviation for February. Delhi is the truncation abbreviation for delicatessen. You all know what delicatessen is? Do you all know what delicatessen is? Okay, I see a couple of notes in the chat. So delicatessen, it is it is that section in the shop, in, in your grocery store where they sell cold meats, okay? Where they sell your Polony, your Vienna, your Russian, your Bega patties, you know, all these cold meats, we call them daily. And then, and it is that section in your grocery store where they are sold, okay? So that section, we call it, in full, it is called delicatessen, but it is, but you can see that, you know, this word delicatessen is very long. Usually they will abbreviate it. There is a truncation abbreviation and it becomes daily. 
Okay, so yes, next time you go to the grocery store, remember to wear your mask. And when you go, just look there and pay attention. You'll see that where that you will see that where they sell your polonies, vianas, Russian ham, beggar patties, um, fish, hake, you'll see that section of the store. It is called daily. You, you'll see, you'll see somewhere there will be a sign written daily. Okay, yes. Then we also have info for information. And then we have ETC for etc. Okay, yes. Do you have any other examples? Oh, okay. We have Lesseri saying F A V E for Avenue. Yes, we see that usually on the roads because the word, you know, I mean, it, it will be too long to include the name of the street or the name of the avenue with the word avenue. So they'll just say whatever, and then they write EVE, meaning avenue, okay? So we have a question for Amukhalang. Amukhalang is asking us, what type of abbreviation is OG? OG is also a truncation, Amukhalang, because remember, OG, it comes from organization. And you realize that org it is the first part of the word organization. Therefore, org is a truncation abbreviation. Okay. Thank you so much for your question, Amukhelang. Thank you. Okay, I think we can pass now to the last type of abbreviations, which is a portmanteau. So with a portmanteau, that is when you combine letters of two words to make a new word, okay? Yeah, I remember we used to like to do this back in school, you know? Um, yes, I, I do not know if you do it, but back in school, when we used to be playful, we used to do that, okay? If let us say, if let us say, for example, my name is Jakey, and then I have a big crush on my name is Jakey and I have a big crush on. Okay, my name is Jakey and I have a big crush on Lerato. So then why so then what they will say is we will mix our names. It will say Jakey plus Lerato, we can say is Gerato, you know, something like that. Yeah, it was so funny, it was so fun. Okay. So that is an example of a portmanteau, although we were just playing, so it is not really a formal example. Okay, it was just fun for us okay so yes and then with the portmanteau we combine two we combine the letters of two words to make a new word okay so here are my examples there in my in the example i said liger i do not know if you know what a liger is tell me do you know what a liger is you can you you can answer you can okay oh so Tessa says they still do that the portmanteau of mixing two names of two people who like each other okay that's that's interesting yes that's very fun i know it's fun so yes a lie okay seems like everybody knows what a liger is yes a liger it is a liger it is an offspring of a lion and a tiger so when a lion and a tiger mate they give birth to a liger right so so a liger it is the combination of the letters li lie from lion plus G-E-R, Ga from Tiger. So when we put them together, when you combine them, we have Liga. And a Liga is, yes, you know, yeah. You, yes, so you can Google a Liga, you can see how a Liga is. It looks like a lion with stripes. Okay, yes. It looks like a lion with stripes. And a, a very interesting thing about a Liga is that if you have a Liga and you want another Liga, you cannot meet two Ligas to get a Liga, no. Ligas are are infertile, yes, and there is a reason for that. But um, you will learn about the you will learn about that reason later on. If you are going to do like maths and science subjects, you will learn about why a liger is infertile. Okay, yes, but so it means that if you want to make a liger, you should always take a lion and mate it with a tiger. You know, a lion should always mate with a tiger for them to give you a liger. Okay, so. That is how it is. So yes, a liger it is a liger it is an actual animal. It exists. Okay, you can go to Google and Google liger, and you'll see how a liger looks. And yes, in Kanka, I agree with you. A liger is scary. A liger is scarier than a lion, and a liger is also scarier than a tiger. Yeah, a liger is scary and it's so big. Mm. Yeah, 
So anyway, a liger is infertile, so you cannot get a liger from two ligers meeting. Another example, we have branch. I know, I know some of you are going to have branch today. <laughs> so a branch is the mixture of a breakfast and lunch, okay? So we take the, the brr from breakfast and the anch from lunch. When you combine them, we get branch. And then we have smog. Smog, we, we take the sm from smoke and the og from fog. Then we have smog. Other examples for a portmanteau, I see in the chat, Nkanka saying vlog, which is um, the combination of video and blog, v from video and log from blog. Then we get vlog. Yes. Thank you. Thank you for your examples. Thank you for examples. So this is the end of our lesson content. Now let us go to the activity. Oh, no. Okay, no. Before we get there, remember that colloquial speech or that is slang is usually made of abbreviations. This is something you know, your LOL, your BTW, your TBH, and your IDK. I know you know these because these are the abbreviations that which you use in your social media. Okay, okay. So I will, I will not dwell much on them, but you should know that you should not use them when you write in your English, okay? Just use them in your social media because if you write them in English, chances are you will confuse your teacher. Because one thing you should note is that most of your teachers, they are not, most of your teachers, they are from the other generation, okay? From the generation where this LOL were not there, where they were born from a generation where there was no WhatsApp, there was no social media, there was no Facebook and all these things. So they do not know them. Okay, so you write LOL in your diary entry, you will lose marks for that. So please do not write them. In your formal writing, please do not use slang, do not use colloquial speech abbreviations, okay? And for every common abbreviation that we should use, please write in brackets what that abbreviation means, okay? So please do not use your shorthand or your SMS language. Okay, summary of, the, of our lesson. An abbreviation is a shortened form of a word or a phrase. And we have five types of abbreviations that which we went through today, which was acronym, initialism, clipped, truncation, as well as portmanteau. So here is a homework activity for you. Okay. Um, yes. Please take a screenshot. This is what we are going to do as your homework. I am, I, I've given you 20 abbreviations, yes. And I am asking you to write out the, uh, yes, to write them out. What do these abbreviations mean? So yes, I, yes, so please take a screenshot of this and do it as your homework. We will do the corrective work of it before the lesson of tomorrow. So here are our abbreviations, it's HIV, it's HIV, it's MR, SABC, BSC, DR, FM, as in like, as in FM radio, what does the FM in FM radio, what does it mean? UNISA, CDR, RSA, ETC, SEP, as in the ninth month of the year, Laser, RAM, ROM, GB, PC, ESP, AIDS, TB, as well as DBE, okay? So these are the 20 abbreviations that which I'm asking you to come with the answers for. Mm -hmm. Since you're only left with a few minutes, so we can, so you will do this as your homework activity. So is there any question, any question, any question? If you have a question, please do not hesitate to ask. Let us use the following few minutes before the lesson ends for your questions, for your clarifications.
Okay, so yes, remember all these types of abbreviations, okay? Let me go through them just one more time before I close. So we said the first type is the acronym. That is, that is when a word, an acronym is a word that is formed from the first letters of other words, okay? Then we have initialism, where it is a group of letters where each letter is pronounced separately, okay? And they used as an abbreviation for a name or an expression. Then we have a clipped abbreviation. This is when we use the middle or the end of a word. Then we have truncation, where we use the first part of a word. And then we have the portmanteau, where we combine the letters of two words to make a new word, okay? So, so, so this is how it works, okay? Yes. And then, okay, I remember I discouraged the use of colloquial speech. Then there is the summary of all of them. An abbreviation is a shortened form of a word or a phrase. Types of abbreviations, you have acronym and initialism, clipped abbreviation, truncation, as well as a portmanteau, and there is your homework activity. Okay, let's see. I have a question from the city as saying, are we going to have a comprehension in our assessments? Yes, the city, there is going to be, there is going to be. Remember, we did, we did deal with that. You know, you remember that time when we did, when we did the reading for comprehension, when we read a newspaper article, and also when we did reading for comprehension with a cartoon. So in our assessment, there will be that, okay? So tell me, let's say, if you, if you have clarifications or if maybe you're lacking something with that, you can let me know, and then we can prepare a revision lesson for that so that we can be better prepared for the assessment, okay? But there will be, there will, there will be a question on comprehension in your assessment next week during the assessment week, okay? So if, if there is any of you who's having problems with comprehension, maybe you're having challenges, you know, you do not know how to go about it, please, please, please let me know right now in the chat and I will prepare a revision lesson for that, okay? Yes, thank you for your question, Lisseri, thank you for your question. Is there any other question about today's lesson or about the assessment week. Okay, Amkhalang is asking, are we going to do it as a class? Amkhalang, what is it that which you're asking about? Okay, Amkhalang, let me give you a chance to ask to ask your question because we are only left with two minutes, so we may not really have enough time to have you to text your question. Amkhalang, can you please unmute yourself? Yes, Amkhalang, what is your question? Amukhalang, are you there? Amukhalang, do you have a question for us? Okay, seems like we have lost Amukhalang. But yes, uh, this is the homework activity. Please do it. And tomorrow, before tomorrow's lesson, we will go through the corrective work together. And yes, before we start with the lesson, for tomorrow. So thank you so much. Thank you for joining us today. Thank you for being part of today's lesson. So if you have any question, you can email me there. There is my email in red. You can email me and I will answer your questions or you can email the STEM Digital School at Africa Team Geeks to see your dosere, okay? Then yes, please help us to help you. Email us your complaints your questions, your comments, okay? We want, I want to become a better teacher for you. If there is something I can do better, please let me know. There is my email right there. 
let me know. Do you have any questions? Do you have any topics you would like us to cover before the assessment week? Please email me. Let me know so I can prepare so I can prepare for you so that you can be better prepared. Okay. So this is the end of our lesson. Remember to stay home, to stay safe, wash your hands with soap and water, sanitize your hands. If you are going to the grocery store or wherever, please remember to you to wear your mask and remember the social distancing. Remember social distancing. So from all of us here at STEM Digital School, we love you guys. I say keep well, take care, enjoy the rest of your day. Remember to do your homework. Goodbye, take care, see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.